November 2020. So let's see what's going on here. So we're having some problems here or we had dealt with some issues here and a breakup has occurred or this, yep, yeah, definitely breakup has occurred here. So um, this opponent you're having is with your lover. It almost feels like they weren't doing enough or they wasn't bringing it enough or something just was not fulfilling you enough in this relationship. For you guys to be ruled by uh, Venus, you guys are all about sensuality, you know, feelings, um, being comfortable, um, having that luxury of more. So it doesn't seem like you were getting that and as well with the two of wands here. This also could be a problem between you two where, you know, dealing with cash and money. It's just... Mm, Something wasn't working out. It's kind of funny. This sounds like this is bouncing off of uh, another signs reading too. I think with Virgo, with um, the money issue here. So you could also be dealing with a Virgo as well, since we do have communication that's popping up here, and then we have the Three of Swords. So it seems like you just maybe wanted more, maybe want to travel more about something, explore more about something. It almost feels like you just didn't want to settle down. Yeah, not not yet, not yet, not yet. The communication between you two isn't what you will crack it up to be or what you thought it would be, but it's almost like this is just going stale here. So a lot of third house energy. So it's, this is definitely could be revolving around communication, um, learning more about your partner that you didn't really expect or um, maybe that you don't necessarily agree with, that you want to... Something about just committing that you want more out of this yourself or you want a certain element out of this yourself. So that's why also I said this could be <laughs> dealing with Virgo because this is the exact problem. It seems like we're on the other end of the side. Um, are you conveying that to them? Are you really conveying that to your partner? Well, that you're really just not that you were not receiving enough or this just wasn't enough for you and that you just want more and simply you just wanted to. You know, explore. You just really wanted to learn what was out there in the world for you to really see if this is really what you want. That's how you would like to take it in your terms. You want to still have options. But I don't think you really want to hurt their feelings about telling them that because you know this will end that romance emotionally in a way where this person, this other person will be hurt. But you can work towards back building that emotional element, but you feel like as if you need to push yourself for more in life. Even just not even just down to just choosing who you want to be with, but just overall what you would like to bring to the table. Or your ideas does not match up with theirs. More of your imagery or your dreams that you think of or things that you work towards are not the same as this person that you've been dealing with. Um, so this is definitely being kind of communicated in some sense though at the same time. So eventually you let you let it be known that you would like to maybe try but you just still want that option to explore it's, it's not like you're just afraid to be held down but you just afraid to make the wrong choice and also some reason when it comes down to you libra this tends to something where money comes up because i don't I know maybe money i mean you guys do make money as well anybody makes money but this seems to be the problem that's also between you two. It's almost like you don't want to give in more effort with your money because you don't want to feel like you're wasting your money and wasting your time. But to the other person, you know, they're kind of more fully indulged than you really are. It's almost like maybe you're not just as quick in love or don't have the same feelings just yet, but you're just trying to give it more time. You're trying to study this more. Definitely November. You're just trying to study this more and study your love life more. And your dating choices. And then we got the three of wands. So it's all about this communication. It's, it's like you don't drop this person completely even though you guys broke up. But, I mean, you guys are going to keep talking time to time. And like I said, this could involve, uh, especially with that fifth house energy, this also could involve some kids involved too that, you know, kind of makes you still talk to each other anyways for, you know, just for reasons. That's why with the three of wands here, it's like you're you easily communicate with them better, or m more people better when you're just kind of alone and really have that no restraint going on here. But you're kind of in a way tired of also giving false hope because you're not trying to get definite answers to this person you've been dealing with. If you're just really ready for that, yeah. 
So it's kind of feeling like you're feeling a little pressure and you're not feeling like you're handle, handling this situation pretty well. So this is definitely causing some issues, some conflict with how you take charge with this um, situation. But you need to take this, take charge of this situation a lot better and just go ahead and kind of either you're going to dead it or either you're going to keep it, you know. Um, because with this type of person you're dealing with, they already want more. They already want the commitment. They already want the relationship. But I, it doesn't seem like you really want that yet. So... You will have to choose if you're going to decide to go ahead and study and travel what you're going to, you know, study and deal with. Travel and see really more people. Just communicate with more people. Go on more days. Really just make sure your options are clear. I think you just still want to be a single person in a sense that it's almost like you kind of didn't mean for this to kind of go this far. Kind of a comfort thing, but you weren't, you weren't using really necessarily anybody, but... Your selectiveness about how much you want to put in is causing that other person problems. So, and this person's begging, you know, they're begging for more. So, you just either, you know, you really have to dip the situation and just really, you know, come up with a solution and really make you happy because you're going to do that anyway. Because with the King of Pentacles um, lasting off ending in November, you guys, you know, make that choice that you just want to, you know, you don't want to ride or die. You don't want a person by your side. You really want to, you know, be with yourself. Like, why should I have to be pressured to be held down? Uh, I, I, I have that option kind of thing. So, I mean, until you find the one that you really think you want to be with, unless you want to backtrack. But mostly this is all about your your freedom and just you being out where you where you want to be. You don't want to reside yet. You don't want to settle yet. So, which is understandable at the same time, but... You do have to convey and maybe uh, change your words or how you're talking to them for them to understand. And even if they don't and they're hurt, you know, it is it is what it is. You both fully acknowledge what the problems are in this relationship or was in this relationship. So, you know pretty much it'll be kind of the same thing. You know? So, I'm pulling two cards for your theme of November 2020, Libra. We got proper burial for freedom. There's nothing to be gained and everything to be lost by trying to hold on to that which no longer serves us. Osiris, Lord of the Dead, guides you now to release that which no longer needs to be a part of your life so that you may be free. So, I mean, it seemed like, you know, you're just feeling like you're held down. You're feeling like maybe, and on top of that, you could be feeling like you're having too much responsibility over a lot of yourself or you just don't want to take on this responsibility. So, I mean, you do have an option to walk out. You know, this person, yeah, you dealt with this person for some time and this is going to hurt them, but... You, you also have to make a choice in this as well. Enter the chamber of healing. A spiritual gift of healing is coming to you now. Be open without expectation or preconceived notions and allow the healing energy to help you find the best solution for any situation that does not appear to be as it should. Expect your miracle. So, I mean, you're allowed to be free. You don't have to be held down. You're not married. So that's how you kind of think about this. You're not married, which is right in a sense. You're not. So... You know, this is going to be hard, but this is, you know, time to, you know, dispel them away or walk away and stop wasting more time. But Libras, hope you enjoyed and like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want a personal reading, check me out at Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. And...